guys welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel budgeting my abundance i'm the abundant mama this is the show where i am trying to figure out my life and i'm documenting my financial journey um basically trying to become financially independent and live a financially free life um so if that is something that you're interested in then hit that like and subscribe button and share as it helps grow my channel Okay, so, y'all, you see the monies, right? Your girl is employed again. Yay! So, I am going to be cash stuffing. And this is going to be a very quick, very short cash stuffing. Because, though I am employed, I only worked one day. And I get paid on a weekly basis now. But I only worked one day. So, this check... <coughs> Not, well, not the entire 337. That is definitely not majority of the check for like that one day. But this is um, one day's pay plus um, some savings to pay these bills. <clears throat> so, and I didn't really have time to like actually go to a bank. So, <clears throat> I had to try and make change. So, I kind of did that. Kind of struggled. We'll see how this works. But yeah, the girl has a job. And I am so grateful and excited about this job because one, I actually like it. Um, it's a job that is, and it's in a field that I like. Um, I used to be a server and then I moved from being a server to basically in like, um, <clears throat> I guess like the health uh, industry. Well, I, I do insurance verifications. So <clears throat> at least that's what I was doing when I had my job earlier in the year. And then I got laid off. That was insurance verifications. And that was me um, changing careers from being a server to that. <clears throat> um, and then, you know, got laid off and all that other good stuff. But I do, and y'all can hear my dog in the background making herself known. I do uh, like this job and it does come with awesome benefits. Um, but at the moment I am a temp because they do temp to hire. So fingers crossed on that that I become permanent uh <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and start with the car note that is $73 for now well yeah it's gonna be $73 because I can stuff that um every week so my bills will be um it's normally two it's either 289 or 290 I, I, I forget it's like a dollar office whatever um but I'm just gonna go ahead and divide that by four and that's basically what you're gonna get It'd be like 72.50, but I believe in rounding up so that way I have more than enough or I have a little bit over instead of not enough. So two, four, six. Wait, I don't, I could have sworn I had a 50 in here somewhere. What did I do with that? Did I get rid of it? I will figure it out. <clears throat> anyway, two, four, six, seven, let me put this back. One, two, three. Two. So all together we have <clears throat> okay. We have one hundred, two, four, six, eight, two hundred, ten. 15, 16, 17, 18, 218. <clears throat> Make sure you guys can see because y'all know I am very notorious for being off screen, um, being out of frame. And I'm supposed to write this down so that way you can see that it's basically my bills divided by four. Girl, you doing the most right now. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Okay, so next is the phone bill. So that's gonna be $44, two, four, one, two, three, four. And that should be, honestly, the whole bill for the, or at least my portion, <clears throat> for the phone. So that's two, four, six, eight, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's eighty-eight dollars. So we're good with that. And then um, I am gonna change the budget. I may do a video. I may not. I don't know. But that's done. Um, so that means that this would put more than likely be twenty-two dollars now when I um when I stuff instead of forty-four because <clears throat> I'm no longer bi-weekly. Um, car insurance is gonna get car insurance is still gonna get one thirty because it's due soon. Um, or at least with this check, I just I'm not gonna have it. Um, if I was to try to do it, um, like the one thirty or the normal two sixty divided by four, within by the time it's due, I wouldn't make it the time I'd be late. So I'm just gonna do half right now, and then um, I have some time. Basically, it's just three payments. I should have probably divided this by three. That would have made more sense. No, it wouldn't. Um, I'm actually gonna do another 130 on the next cash stuffing as well. That way I know I have it by its due date because that's chancing it and I really don't wanna chance it. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do um, two, four, six, eight, one, two, and then 30. So this makes the first half, two, four, six, eight, 120, 130. So this makes the first half. <clears throat> of that car insurance <clears throat> and then i'm only gonna add like 50 dollars to my daycare so, well, i actually need change so i'm probably just do 40 for now no i'm gonna do 60 and then maybe get change well i may just keep it this way i don't know but um i had some left over so two four six eight eighty five um, daycare is usually seventy-five dollars a week, so I can probably, I'll probably just make change. <clears throat> and then um, forty dollars is gonna go into my gas, um, and that is pretty much it. This is like a super, super quick uh, cash stuffing. Um, next. Uh, Next video will be more because, you know, I'd have actually worked more than just one day. I actually worked a full week. So I'm just going to put the 40 here for my gas. And that's it. Um, at least for the cash stuffing. Now, it is the end of the month. It's the end of October. <clears throat> so uh, I am going to do like a where am I now as far as my savings or like a savings check in. <clears throat> And basically just starting over when it comes to <clears throat> where is it? Here we go. When it comes to my emergency fund saving. Because if I did the math correctly, like from what I had into my I can just pull it out. Here we go. In the emergency savings thing, I ended up using a lot of my savings. So I am no longer at 500. I am actually counting this five. I, from what I have, what's left in the bank, I have $60 from my emergency fund, 62. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this in here. <clears throat> and I am going to print yet another <laughs> emergency savings uh, page and then we will start over from there um, I did luck out why I didn't have to like well I got this job in time or quick enough where I didn't have to pull from any of my other sinking funds so that's pretty cool but um, the heck? oh well, I have a 10 I hid money for myself no I'm not gonna go to uh, To daycare and switch that out because I only wanted to put 50 in there so that's 20 was it extra because I had to uh, pull there we go well it's not in order but there we go two four six seventy seventy five that's what I wanted Okay, 
So, like I said, I had, I had to try and make change with what I had. So this means I can actually put this back. Where did I pull this? Actually, I think I pulled this from Manifestations. And I was gonna, did I pull it from Manifestations? I don't remember. I really don't remember. I'll figure out where, you know what? I either, either put in the manifestations or I may just put this back into my um, emergency funds and then I'll be like at 80. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna start this over. Like I said, I have about $60 um, in my uh, emergency fund, counting that five, 62, counting that five and that was $2. So I'm gonna um, reprint this and then color them in and basically just start over. Um, I do not, like, last time I was unemployed, I felt so bad about having to use my emergency funds. This time, this go around, I don't feel bad. It it served its purpose. It was an emergency, it paid my bills. Um, so it did what it was supposed to do. Um, I am still going to stuff my um, Black Friday and holiday savings. And y'all got, you guys, I am so like excited with this new job, especially because of the perks that it offers. Um, and one of those perks actually like coincides with a personal goal of mine, which is to actually like go back to school and finish my degree. Like I have an associate's, but I never got my bachelor's. And with this job, one of the benefits is because it's at a university, um, if I'm permanent, then that means I actually get to take those courses and get my degree for free. Like they, you don't have to pay tuition if you work there. So um, <clears throat> that is like a big thing for me. And like, I know there may be some people who are like, well, you know, you don't necessarily need a degree, but it, like I said, it's a personal thing for me. And one of the things that used to get to me when people would say that is like, the people who always would tell me that are people who already have a degree. And I was like, so I don't know if it's personal to you or whatever. And you feel that it's not necessary because you already have it. But your struggle is different from mine. And if y'all hear my dog whining, she's fine. She is just being a diva. Um, I made her lay in her bed. She doesn't want to lay there right now because she kept walking around. So it is what it is. But back to my thing. Um. I don't know. It's just like, it's one thing if like you hear somebody say, oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. Don't tell them, especially if you already have what it is that they're saying they want. Don't tell them it's not needed. Just be like, well, if it's a personal goal or whatever, or if this is something that you want, then go for it. Just, you know, that's just for me. Because I don't know, like I used, I'm not going to lie. I hate when people tell me that. It was like, oh, well, you don't need it. It was like, well, I want it. I guess that's all I got for today. Um, I'm super rambly, which is, I guess, my porno, my per usual. But yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, I will see you guys in the next one with a bigger check and more of the stuff. But then mama out. Bye.